What's going on everyone? It's Brand Witch Coach Fine Jewelry, your personal jeweler. New pendants are added to the website and I want to make a video to show you guys because I am excited about them. As you see me, I got one on now and I'm not going to take it off anytime soon. So I want to show you different sizes, talk about them. Let's get started. Here's the debut of the new $100 pieces. Now these are ordered. I did not make these pieces personally. Um, so I just ordered a bunch of them. There's three different sizes. We have the small size, the medium size, and then the larger size. I have limited white gold and then here's yellow gold. I want to weigh these out for you guys. And the good thing about these is the bales are pretty big. So they're going to fit most chains. So the small size, let's get a gram weight, 2.1 grams. And the length from top to bottom, so you guys can see, is about a little over an inch. So that's a pretty small pendant. Two grams is not bad at all. Again, they are very thin. The medium size is about four and a half grams. And if we do the length again, we are at about two inches, I would say, from top to bottom with the bail included, of course. And then the larger size, we have just under seven grams. And this one is actually a pretty big piece, about two and a half, two and a quarter inches there. Um, and then here's some chains. Here's the six millimeter rope chain. This, the bigger size would easily fit it. So if you have a bigger chain, a thicker chain, go with the bigger sizes. I have some already set up. This is kind of what I would wear if I was just kind of wearing it by itself. I have the small size on a one and a half rope the medium on a two millimeter rope and then the bigger one on a two and a half because of the weight of these i'm not really the the weight of the pendant or charm itself is not an issue these chains as most chains would be more than capable of holding this and here's a debut i got this new chain and i want to show you guys the baby cuban link it's more it's kind of like a concave flat link miami cuban link all mixed into one i really like the style of this chain it's a little over two millimeter i'll add it on the website but the links are tight i i really do like it you'll see a better picture on my website but at a 22 inch length they're pretty heavy too i think it's a little over 12 grams let's weigh it out for you guys so 14 over 14 grams for this has a lot of weight and the durability is awesome as well so let me put these on stack them with some chains so we get a better look as your personal jeweler i have to be honest with you guys with these pendants they're very thin so with that being said you need to understand the durability issue with it this is how i would wear it i would not two chain it with other pendants where they're going to be rubbing um, if I'm just wearing it like this, I don't worry about it at all because I have the proper spacing. I like the look. I got a six millimeter, 24 inch rope chain on and I got the two, uh, 20 inch, one and a half millimeter rope chain on the small $100 bill. Now, obviously, if you have maybe a 26, a 30, you can go with a bigger size like the medium or large and drop this chain down a little bit. But the 20 inch is okay because with the drop, it hangs a little bit lower. It's not like a choker on my neck. So I really like this look. Um, I think if I'm just going to go simple, I would not wear the rope chain. I would just wear the little $100 bill by itself and maybe on a 22 inch. But if I kind of want to style it and layer it, then I'm going to add the thicker six millimeter, 24 inch rope and then wear this a little higher. So I have a nice clean two chain look. And because you guys are the best subscribers on YouTube, I took the time to layer this perfectly for you guys. I got to take a shot like this on Instagram like I did with those cross pieces. Um, 30 inch, I got the large $100 bill, the 24 inch, the medium, and then again, the 20 inch, the small. So if this is kind of what, if you want sizing references, there you go. This is a great look. I don't know if I could pull this. I should just go to the supermarket right now and wear this walk around like that. People think I'm a freak, but this is really cool to look at. Honestly, I'm just kind of looking at the camera, looking at it and admiring my effective layeringness when it comes to these $100 pieces. I like it because um, I really like the finish on them. I don't know if you guys could see that. Obviously, you know, the lighting and there's the diamond cuts around the bill. You got to go on the website to get a really good picture of it or on my Instagram. I'll take some good pictures as well. But the finishing and I just think it's really cool to have a hundred dollar bill as your pendant. Again, my honest recommendation is don't cluster these up with a bunch of heavier pendants because they will bend. In my opinion, I haven't seen it, but 
just knowing the width of them they're they're paper thin like a 100 dollars bill is so i would just kind of keep them alone like this here i would definitely recommend buying them the the price per gram on these is gonna be a lot better than most of my pieces why because I basically just bought these from a vendor. So I got a better deal, didn't have to manufacture it. So it, it's a pretty good deal. Just throw these on a rope, Franco, whatever. They're, the bales are gonna fit most chains, which is good. Some of my bales that I make um, don't fit the end caps for some Franco. So you always have to size them and play with them. But these have a pretty thick or wide bale. So all in all, a very fun piece to add to the collection. Go check them out. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you on our next jewelry video.